So this question goes to uh, Kibu Ikunia. Uh, ATK Mohan Bhavan has a set team from the last season with which they won the ISL. Whereas Blasters have a relatively newer squad. So do you think that will affect Blasters in any way? Good afternoon. Well, uh, Good afternoon. But you are right. Uh, ATK is a team that is uh, almost uh, the similar team than, than last season. They they have uh, you no know, and and they are the former champions. So so they were the, the best the best team last season in ISL. Uh, they have a uh, a very good team, even with uh, they signed very good players this this season. And for us, uh, of course, um, we are we are happy with the team we have. Uh, we are training well. I'm happy. The coaching staff also is happy with the with the things that we are we are uh, we are seeing in the in the training sessions. But uh, yes, uh, we are a new team, but we are going to to do our best tomorrow, and we are going we we want to compete to compete well in tomorrow's match against ATK. Thank you. Uh, I have another question. Um, Kerala Blasters have struggled in the goalkeeping department since a couple of seasons. And this year too, the team has signed keepers who are not much experienced. So what's the reason behind that? You know, the experience you are taking when, uh, when you are playing. Uh, we have uh, we have very very good goalkeepers. We have Falvino, we have Prasukan, we have uh, Bilal Khan, and also we have Muhit. We are we are happy with the goalkeepers we have, and uh, they have a a very very big competition between them to to get the the first place with the, the, the team. So we will see uh, how how the things are going. But in this moment, we are very very happy with them. Okay, uh, so uh, what, what do you have to uh, say about the captaincy rotation policy and what were the reasons behind electing Jessel, Sido and Costa as the three captains for Kerala Blasters FC? Okay, uh, I always, uh, for me, the, the opinion of the players is very important in terms of uh, who, uh, who, which player they want that be uh, they are going to be the, represent the representatives of the team, no? So, we ask them, and uh, uh, Sergio, Costa, and, and Gesell, and uh, I also agree that they have, from different questions, they, they have, uh, they have the, the possibility to be very good captains, and, uh, and now we are going to, uh, we are going to decide. Each of uh, every everyone can can be the the captain in the team, but they are going to be the group of captains representing the the team. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, that'll be all for Kibu. I'd, if Costa is present, I'd like to talk to him. Um, uh, is Costa present? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm here. Okay, so Costa, uh, considering the experience you bring onto the table, who are the, some of the younger talents in the team that has impressed you? Well, you know, uh, I have heard this question before. Um, basically, uh, uh, when I come here, uh, I'm not trying to uh, look and pick out uh, individuals. I, uh, I look at the team as a whole and from what I have seen, uh, basically all the youngsters, they are so uh, enthusiastic and they are, they are full of energy, you know, they, uh, they really want to uh, learn what uh, the coach is uh, teaching them, which is uh, a, a new style of, uh, of playing, from what I see. So uh, I would say that Basically, all all the, the youngsters they are they are enthusiastic and, and they are full of energy and bring more Yes, please please go, Nicole. Uh, my question is for Coach uh, Kibu. Hi, Coach. How are you? It's Nicole from ISL Media. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, coach. Nice to meet you. My question is, uh, after the merger, there was a lot of talk who would be made new coach of ATK and Mohan Bagan. 
eventually Antonio Habas was chosen, but it could have been you. So emotionally, how much are you looking forward uh, to facing your former employers? And my second question is, now having made the jump from the I-League to the ISL, do you feel that you have a bigger point to prove, not just to ATK Mohan Bagan, but just but to the rest of the teams in the league as well? Okay. Uh, first question, uh, I, I always, I, I will have... Uh, uh, very good sentiments with Mohun Bagan because I, I was there one uh, one season. They treat me fantastic, uh, very well. Uh, I have uh, a lot of uh, a lot of friends there in the board, the members of the club, supporters, etc. But we, I'm very happy to be to be in uh, in Kerala Blasters. Uh, I'm going to do uh, my best. The the people they also receive me very well. Uh, I I have. Uh, I have a very good relation with all, with, with all the stamps of the club. Uh, we are starting. We are trying to create a, a good team. Uh, we are we are going to try to, to play good football, and this is the most important. Tomorrow, tomorrow is only the first game because you know because sometimes when you are playing the first game, it looks like it looks like that is the is one final. No, and after the game of tomorrow, we will have unless uh, 19 uh, more matches and hopefully more. Yeah. Coach, coming to the second question, now having moved from the I-League, do you feel like there's more pressure, more expectations because uh, you have taken charge of a team that has a bigger fan base and now you've come with quite a reputation having won the I-League? So do okay, you feel you have a bigger point to prove? Yes, always in football you have pressure as a coach. Pressure of the results, pressure of the expectations. It's a different, it's a different league. Also, last season was a tough league. Uh, I feel it's true that the, the level of the coach, the level of the coaches, staff, uh, of the players and the clubs is very, is very even. It's very, it's, it's going to be very. Every game is going to be very tough. But also, you know, we, are, uh, uh, we have confidence that we are working. With, uh, I have confidence in the whole team. I have confidence in the way we are training and hopefully everything. Right. Thank you. Good. Hello. Please unmute and ask. Um, so, uh, hi, Kibu. This is Rishi from the Nutmeg Assist. Hello. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, uh, good afternoon, sir. So, uh, so my question for you is that a month back, uh, I heard some, like it was reported that Sanjoy Sen from uh, ATK Mohan Bagan, the assistant coach, he told, he said express some concerns regarding the uh, training in Go, uh, like the facilities provided in Goa. So how was your experience with Kerala Blasters uh, because because of the pandemic? It, it has been locally like uh, settled in Goa, right? So, uh, how was your experience with Kerala Blaster? Okay, uh, of course we are in a but not only here in India and not only here in Goa, in the in the in all over the world. In your case, sorry, are they just older than one dollar? Sorry. No, no. Uh, uh, you can continue, sir. No. Uh, it has it's an, another. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, but we are happy with the with facilities we have. We have uh, have a good uh, a good program to train. Uh, uh, only uh, 50 minutes by bus. The the pitch is in is in good condition. So we have everything to train well. And, excuse me, but I heard a lot of a lot of voices, and I can can I cannot talk. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now? And now, it's, yeah, now it's fine. Sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, no, so, so I, 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 I'm saying that that, um, that we are everything is uh, everything is fine. It's true that, for example, the preseason is a little bit short. Uh, we would like, especially in a in a new team, you uh, we would like to 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 train more because, uh, for example, we have players that they 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 already ended the the, the quarantine three three days ago. But you know, uh, everything has his uh, his own uh, his own problems. Mm, yeah. 
no complaints, no excuses. We're happy to to start to to start the league the the league again, and um, every everyone is 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 going is doing an effort to that uh, trying to 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 start the league, no, the league, the the clubs, the players, the coaching staffs, etc. So um, it is very different from uh, so the leagues that we have played so far, right? Because of the pandemic, especially we are uh, situated around uh, like uh, inside Goa itself. There are no home and away advantages, and there will be no fans. So uh, how has it been for Kerala Blast? Like uh, how are Kerala Blasters preparing to uh, tackle these issues uh, altogether? Okay, for us, for us, for sure, it's a handicap because we have a fantastic fan base. And uh, they are helping. Uh, they are helping us in every in every game very much. No, so for yeah. us is uh, is a uh, is a bad point. But for sure we are going to feel the the support of of, of, all, of all our fan base the, during during uh, during the during the games and during during the season. No? Uh, my next question is to uh, Noah Mansu, um, Costa No Mansu. Uh, uh, you you have come all the way from Zimbabwe to play for a team uh, uh, like Kerala Blasters. Um, what motivated you for the move? Uh, what was the motivation behind the move uh, to Kerala? Yeah, so um, after after my, uh, my contract finished in uh, Prague, so uh, you know I uh, still felt that uh, I have. Um, what it takes, you know, to still um, play football at, at higher level, you know. So I said, when you play football at higher level for some time, you develop that uh, hunger inside of you. you. You want that vibe always to perform on top, you know. So when I realized the ambition of, uh, of the club, what, what they want to achieve, and also the, the the type of fans, you know, the vibrant fans that they have. Then I realized that, you know, this is a place that could feed uh, uh, my hunger, my vibe to, uh, you know, to compete for, for something tangible. And and also the fact that, you know, the, the, the coach that I uh, I worked with before is also part of, uh, of, of the team. It also made uh, things easier for me. So, uh, what is your uh, individual expectation for this season? Like, uh, what would you feel would be a very good achievement after coming to India for this season? Um, like, uh, maybe after at the end of the season, what would you feel would be a very good achievement for you at, with this team? Well, you know, um, for me, I uh, I always want to take uh, things step by step. You know. So uh, I always want to look at the battle which is ahead, you know. So, for example, now we are talking about the game tomorrow. And, and all focus is on the game tomorrow, you know. Yeah. Not thinking about uh, how the season is going to end or how the other games are going to be. All focus is just on the next game and we've been working on training and we will try to, uh, you know, implement what we've been doing. So for me, uh, a good achievement will be to win the next game. That's, that's how I'm that's taking it. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. That's, that's it for me. Uh, coach, hello. Uh, hello. Good afternoon. Hi, Coach. Good afternoon. Hi, coach. Uh, <laughs> Uh, how are you, Coach? Everything fine. Thank you very much. Yeah. Coach, uh, <clears throat> getting to the point, my question is, uh, while we discussed just a few minutes back that ATK Mohan Bagan have uh, retained most of the squad from the ATK side that won the title last season, while Kerala Blasters have undergone a lot of changes. So do you think that can be an advantage for you with the element of surprise in your pack package? Uh, that Kerala Blasters might put out an element of surprise because it's not a known enemy for them. And my second question, is that this is a clash of the champion coaches of last season. How do you look at that? Kerala, uh, Kipu Vikuna versus Antonio Lopez Abbas, champion coaches from Indian football's last season. So how do you look at that? Okay, uh, your first question. I think that, um, you know, you can, you can see uh, the picture 
from from both sides no for one side they they have the, the experience they have the they they already play play together unless one season together with the same coach and with uh, with success uh, and uh, on the other hand we are a new team um, that uh, we are we are starting and i don't know if they are in football they are not they are not a lot of a, a lot of surprises no you can change you can change the the formation you can change the shape but, but more or less uh, the teams um, they have the same style uh, and that's all and uh, and the second question is uh, tomorrow is mohumbagan atk mohumbagan kerala blaster nothing more uh, the main the the main actors of the team always are, are the players okay thanks professor coach Yeah, who's that? Uh, can you hear me? I, uh, yeah. Richie, can I can I ask a question? Martin, Martin here. Yeah. Go ahead, Martin. Yeah, uh, this is a question for both the coach and uh, the captain as well. Uh, I just wanted to know. Uh, see, this will be a league that, unlike any other you must have participated in because you have to be in a biosecure bubble. There won't be any fans. Uh, like you know, uh, you have to be in your rooms all the time. You know, I, I, only only time you go out would be for training. So, uh, do you think that this will be probably the toughest uh, league, uh, uh, the toughest uh, uh, league for you? Because uh, uh, you you only have uh, football to focus on. Because uh, you you go to go for training and maybe when when the tournament starts, you will only be um, uh, playing in the matches and then you will be coming back to your rooms. So let's say like a defeat might affect the players more than um, uh, maybe some other in, in in other circumstances where in uh, in normal circumstances. So how do you think you can how do you prepare mentally like you know uh, because uh, it might be very difficult for players as well you know because they don't really have anything else to focus on other than what is happening on the football pitch. So how do you look at it and and do you think the mental aspect of that also needs to be focused on? Please, Costa. Uh, yeah, so uh, exactly like you said, uh, it's um, a different uh, situation, different setup altogether than uh, normally what we are used to. Uh, and and yeah, you're right. Everything now it's more about uh, the mental aspect. Uh, yeah, I know. You know, we uh, players, and then uh, the physical uh, aspect of us is also demanded. But now. We have to uh, we have to be strong mentally, and um, we we already know the the situation which is at hand. And like the coach uh, said before, we are not trying to uh, look at excuses. So we are only trying to uh, look to work with what is available for us. So, for example, uh, yesterday, you know, we had some. Uh, activity between us uh, after dinner uh, wherever whichever room we are allowed to uh, to use or whichever space we just try to use it like that and what happens after that nobody knows you know because nobody knows what the future holds so basically we are only just looking to work with um, what we have whatever is available for us whatever we can access and we will see where 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 he take us because that's what we have. So we uh, stick to that. That's how I uh, feel. Coach, uh, oh. Thank you, Coach. Yes. Uh, Richie, may I? I don't. Know. Yeah, yeah. Please. Uh, hello, Coach. Uh, this is Arun George from the Times Window. Hello. Good afternoon. Yeah, hi coach. Good afternoon, coach. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Good, good, good. Thank you. Uh, coach, uh, my question is, uh, you have uh, made a couple of uh, experience, included a couple of experience campaigns in your side, uh, including Coaster. Uh, at the same time, you have inherited a, a bunch of youngsters. Uh, let's say Sahal Abdul Samad, Kipi uh, Rahul, Prashant, uh, Jigson, uh, a couple of uh, enterprising youngsters. Uh, who will be looking forward to establishing themselves, you know, uh, not just as players, but also as 
in your squad, but as good players in the for potential candidates for the Indian team, the national team. Uh, so how much of a, a challenge is it for you to incorporate them straight into the, into the 11 or uh, will you be, uh, what, what sort of philosophy would you be adopting in terms of uh, including youngsters in the side? Do you think they, they would need to be eased into the setup or uh, are they, do they, have they shown you enough to warrant a place right from the start, uh, to be first level players, to be the ones around whom the team is built? Or do you think these kind of youngsters need more time to uh, kind of, you know, earn their place or earn their trust to be regulars? Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, used to, to, to see the, the age in the, in the passport of the players. I only, um, we are training the, in the training session, and we are playing, we are playing games, and the, the player that I feel that he, he's, uh, he switched the team and he, they, they took, they, they take advantage of the, of the, of the chances they have, they are going, they are going to play. It's right, uh, you are right, uh, we have, uh, we have uh, good, uh, good young players. Uh, also, we have good uh, good players with experience, and uh, we are trying to create uh, to create the balance. And, uh, and as as I said before, for me the age is not is, is not the most important. No, but for sure, the, we have we have uh, young players with potential, and they have to they have to as all the players they have to improve to to grow up daily and to be better the the objective always is to be today better than yesterday all right I understand. thank you and uh, if i may i have just one last question uh, and uh, it's regarding your goalkeeping department you have a, 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 at least a pair of uh, really exciting uh, goalkeepers you know nobody is like uh, a celebrity they are equally good i might say if I, if, I, if i if i may uh, but have you call, uh, fixed on uh, a, a number one on your side, like whom you might say this is go he's going to be my number one, or is it going to be a rotation uh, between goalkeepers as we see a lot more nowadays in leagues around the world? Uh, or are you going to stick to one goalkeeper and who is it going to be? Uh, we have four number ones. Chance. We have four number ones. Uh, we four have four goalkeepers. Uh, we are working with them since the since the beginning. We are happy with the with the way they are training with the goalkeeper coach uh, Yusuf. Um, they are performing well in the in the friendly games. So, but of course uh, we have to choose one for uh, unless to tomorrow's match, and that's all. No, we are, as Costa said before, we are only focused only in the in the first in the first game. Thank you, coach. I appreciate. It. Please note, we have five more minutes. Please ask. Uh, yeah, uh, the chief. I'll just stand by from the Hindu. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Hello, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, coach, uh, would, would you call this uh, your toughest assignment? Like, uh, because, uh, and also since uh, a lot of players, even even last week you had mentioned that two players were still in the quarantine. So, would you say that uh, the team is fully fit? What exactly uh, is the team, is, is, is uh, the fitness issue of the team? Like, are, are all the players fit there? You know, we the players we are in the, in different in different um, in different situation, different plans, no? Because some of the players have started the 9th of October first first training outside. I mean, because we are uh, we are we are training since uh, two months ago, but you know, by video call inside uh, in every country, different situations. Some players could uh, could run outside, and other ones because of the quarantine they 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 couldn't go outside. But here in Goa. Uh, some players started before, especially the the, the Indian players. Then the, some of the some of the foreigners arrived. First, uh, Tidoncha, Sergio Tidoncha and Vicente. Then Costa and Gary. Uh, the fifth one was uh, was Bakari uh, ten days ago. And then uh, on Monday, uh, Facundo and, and Jordan Murray uh, went out. So uh, they are in different in different conditions, but. Um, Okay, we are we are ready to play tomorrow. Also, also one more question, Coach. Uh, we have uh, three captains in the team. Uh, what, 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 why, why this, why this, why, why, why do we have three captains? Like, uh, could this lead to some confusion? Uh, uh, like, is there some confusion there? Like, 
you know, it's not only, it's, uh, to be captain is not only to have the art band in the in your in your art. No, it's a, it's a question of be re representative of the team uh, on and off the field. And I like always that uh, to have a, like a, a three for captains. At the moment, we have three, and perhaps in the future we we will add uh, another one with the time. Thank you. Welcome. Can I go? Can I ask one? Uh, yeah. Hello. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Hi, hi, coach. Uh, Nishant here from Goal.com. I hope you're well. Uh, best wishes for the season. And I just want to start off by asking, um, you know, uh, sometimes uh, because last season also Kerala Blasters had their preseason cancelled, they'd come back home. And uh, Elko Shatri, the previous coach, said that preseason, having a short preseason, did take a toll on the players. And it took uh, the team to, you know, settle in. I mean, they took a few games to settle in. And this season is the most forced reason because of the pandemic. So you have not had much uh, friendlies also. So I just want to ask if, uh, do you expect the players to be a bit rusty? And do you expect uh, them to, you know, take some time to settle in and get to full match fitness. Because after, and we've, I've heard coaches say that uh, recovery is also as important as uh, uh, training. So, do you think they have had the sort of uh, period to recover and uh, get to full match fitness? Or do you think it might take them a few, uh, few minutes on the pitch? Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the precision was like, like it was, uh, I mean, uh, of course, it's better to to have a, a longer pre-season with more friendly games, uh, with more time, and uh, and also, um, especially with these foreign foreign players that they came they came uh, later because of the visas, etc. Um, they 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 need they need more time. The whole team needs more time, not only physically, tactically as well. No, to to have the the same idea, to to create a style, etc. For sure, we, we are going to be better uh, next month than now than today, and we are going to be better uh, in two months than uh, than in one month. I'm I'm, I'm sure about that. But uh, now we are going to give our 100% right now, and uh, I think that this 100% is going to be less than uh, our 100% in the future in one or two months. Yeah. Thank you, coach. Thank you. We have a time for last one question. Yeah. Yeah. Marichi, can I ask you? Listen, Jit. Yes. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So this question, uh, question is for uh, Coach Kibu with Kona. So, um, what I want to ask you is, like someone asked before, uh, there are a lot of youngsters in the side this year. So, um, on one side you have uh, players like Bakari Kone and Costa himself back in. Uh, guarding the back line. Kerala didn't have the most successful season in terms of defense last year. So, how do you see someone like uh, Nishu Kumar faring this season? He is only 22, had a good couple of seasons at Bangalore and now he is here. So, how do you see him faring this season? Hello, If the coach is unavailable, can I ask one last question to Costa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Just give a so, second. Uh, give a second to uh, yeah, sure. Costa. Costa, please come. Please go ahead. Yeah, sure. So uh, the squad has been practicing for around a couple of weeks now, and many players did come come in late. So uh, how are you feeling about the opener tomorrow? How are you feeling ahead of the opener tomorrow? Well, you know, um, in football, uh, you always need time uh, 
for, for everything, you know. You need time for combination, you need time to uh, to create that chemistry in the team. This is this is the normal um, occurrence in football. But uh, in this season, and uh, I mean, I think worldwide, the, the football for me has already changed. You know, because football without fans, football with a short period of uh, pre-season and limitations in terms of, uh, you know, recovery and stuff like that. So football has changed, you know. So uh, now we are uh, we, we, we looking at it differently. And as you say, you know, it will take, uh, we need some time to, uh, to create, uh, let's say, good, proper combinations. Like uh, the coach said that uh, he, he believes that we will be better in one month than we are today. But uh, we are not uh, having that as, uh, as an excuse. We, we just keep focused and work with uh, what we've been doing at training. And then uh, we are going to take that in the game. That's, that's our focus for, uh, for the game. Thank you so much and all the best for the game tomorrow. Thank you very much. Uh, Richie, bhai, can I ask one question to Costa? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, Costa, you have uh, played at uh, the highest level, you know, like, you know, you have played for some very, from some top clubs. But uh, in terms of uh, adapting to the conditions in India, what are the things that you've had to adapt to over here? Uh, more, at least uh, up until now, you haven't played any game so far. But like, let's say, for example, in terms of the climate or, or, or some uh, playing, uh, playing infrastructure or things like that, what are the things that you have to adjust? Because it'll be, this will be a completely new experience for you. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. So, uh, you know, we start with, uh, with the food. Uh, I have, uh, you know, had uh, some uh, cup of spicy dishes that uh, I still have to, uh, to adjust. Uh, you know, based originally where I come from, uh, we don't use a lot of spices. And here I see that almost every day uh, they are spicy dishes. So uh, that's uh, one thing I uh, will have to um, adapt to. Of course, there are some without spices, but you know, I will need to try. And then uh, the climate, like you say, Yes, it's, uh, it's hot, but it's a different type of uh, hotness, you know, it's um, so humid and uh, you were sweating a lot, losing a lot of uh, fluid. So this is something that uh, the body has to, uh, to get used to. And yeah, we're training every day, so uh, it's getting better. And then uh, maybe the... I'm not sure how the, the condition of uh, the pitch for the match uh, is going to be like. I don't know if we are allowed to train there before the game or no, but we have to see. Uh, the training pitch is uh, it's not that bad. It's um, a little bit different from uh, what I have been playing before. So those are the things that uh, I can uh, talk about now, otherwise the rest is uh, more or less similar, you know. Uh, the guys, we travel together in the bus and uh, the, the people, the players are also, you know, making jokes here and there. Sometimes I don't understand because uh, they do it in the Indian language. But uh, you can see from body language now huh, that uh, this is some funny stuff. So that one is, is okay so basically those uh, aspects i can uh, talk about now thank you for uh, thank you so much i think the... excuse, excuse me yeah. excuse me because uh, i have problems with the network and with the yes with the network and with the mobile and i can if i can answer the question that uh, uh, the journalist made me before about nisu kumar I, I want to say that, uh, that Nisu is an, of course, is an important player for us. He performed very well uh, last season. Uh, we are very happy that he, he joined us. And we expect that he's going to, to play a good season for us as well. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.
thank you coach thank you coach i wish you all the best for tomorrow and thank you so much for all everyone who took time to join and we're just closing thank you so much take care thank you very much thank you very much to you thank you bye bye thank you all the best for the game tomorrow all the best thank you tomorrow all the best for tomorrow sir thank you thank you thank you thank you everybody bye bye